What's happening guys? Good to see you all again. Ali Hay here, the Bearded Ninja. We're down here in Abbey Fitness for the fifth installation of the How Train for Ninja Warrior. And uh, this is the final one for this season anyway. And it's the ultimate. It's the grip strength. Ooh, yeah. So, grip strength. It doesn't come from just having big forearms or strong arms. It's a full body effort to be able to, you know, hang and swing and do all these kind of movements. Uh, your fingers, your hands, your forearms are all, you know, part of it. Same as your lats, same as your core, when you're swinging your legs, etc. So, I'm going to go through some of the things that I do with the bare minimal, really, uh, some side grips, some overhand, underhand, just ways to try and improve your grip. This is one that you can, you can, you can make improvements pretty quickly here. So I've left it to last for that reason. Ninja Warrior is coming up in the UK. I know some places in the world have already filmed for this season, but it's definitely a good one to always throw into your workouts. It just helps every day, even if you're carrying the shopping, whatever it is. But let's get into it. So first, let's stretch those wrists off. The forearms can get tight in everyday workouts. So do these movements. Um, if you've got injuries, definitely keep up the stretch and the flex in your wrists, your fingers. Uh, your hands, on your knuckles, etc. But definitely do this before you work out, and you should stretch anyway, but add this into your stretching routine, it'll make a big difference. So, I want you to think how your wrists and your forearms work, like how they move. Think of these when you're in your training, you'll be able to invent your own ways. Think of the ways to grip, you know, without using your thumb, underhand, with your thumb, side grips, up and above. You can interlock your fingers for a better grasp. You can have hands on top of one another for a different grasp. Depends on the obstacle. Now then, practice drilling these into you. So using your thumb, using just flat palms, using underhand. Practice jumping up to these because it will save you time if you try to approach an obstacle with a certain grip rather than switching up on the actual obstacle itself. So some simple little muscle builders, you know, EZ bar, wrist curls, pretty simple stuff. You'll have seen people probably do these in your gym if you haven't already done them yourself. Uh, depending on what your equipment's like in your area, you may have one of these uh, rope turners. I've got no idea what these are called, but pretty good for the old forearms, winding it up, winding it down. Um, you can get a real burn on quick with these. So reverse skull crushers, a good one for the triceps and the forearms to so throw into your workout. Now if you're wanting to work biceps but also incorporate you know, a good bit of forearms, use the kettlebells. You can hold them in such a variation of ways to challenge the wrist strength and the forearm strength and the finger strength. Here I'm doing hammer curls with a side grip. Um, also doing a grasp grip here which is so good for the finger strength which is also of course really really important for your overall grip. Now then, if you go into, say, calisthenic push-up style, use your fingers. Again, finger strength. You'd be surprised that this isn't actually too hard, but add the reps in. You've also got ones for your knuckles, which, again, great for strengthening your wrists. Uh, you can do this one here. It's kind of like a tricep extension, but it's really, really good for the side wrists, which are often kind of not really targeted in a lot of people's workouts. Now, overall, for your core, say you're throwing these in your workouts, anything that you're gripping and hanging whilst working your core... Is a, is a great way to improve it. So you can do, you know, feet to bar, keep the legs as straight as you can, and make it tougher. I've added in a yoga ball here, which is good because this is also working the core in a way for you to learn how to lache and to use your core to do that. Now, kipping. You see how that kip started there? I used my legs up to my core, and then I let my arms do the easy movement at the end, which is so important for Ninja Warrior. So learn how to kip, and learn how to traverse. Side uh, side grips, you've got the monkey swing, you know, any way that you can traverse a bar, try it. I've added a yoga ball in here just to make it a little bit more difficult. Taking my time, nice and controlled, side swing, and of course the monkey swing uh, along the bar. So you're going to definitely have to practice taking your full body weight from jump. Obviously this is really important for Ninja Warrior. You're also going to have to be able to monkey swing at decent speed, so try this and use it as a measure of your strength in your grip. If you can get that little bit of airtime in between, you know you're doing pretty well. Also, being creative with your workouts is key. I hope that message has come across clear across all the episodes. But here I've got a kettlebell hanging, and I'm having to use a real overhand grasp, and I'm just going up and down, up and down. But it's great for working another way uh, to improve the strength in your forearms. 
Hanging candles, you can get these pretty cheap. Now I'm just testing my hand-eye coordination and my grip strength by jumping to them. Now this one's a tough one. Uh, candle spins, really good for just general overall power um, and hand-eye coordination. And of course, dead hang. This is a very good way to measure your grip strength and how well you're doing, the endurance within your grip, uh, your forearms, your arms, your overall body. Um, and you can diff you could do so many different ways of testing this or mixing it up. You can do overhand, underhand, using your thumbs, without your thumbs. Here I'm doing it with the hanging candles. So it's another way to test my overall hanging strength. This one's a lot tougher. Now for power and movement, I do this one quite a bit. My back workouts, I'm just doing a, a power up. Um, but I'm grabbing the candles on the way back down, which is testing my strength. Flipping a balance plate whilst hanging and throwing a medicine ball over the bar for just an added workout bonus. So that's that. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, it's been a massive learning curve for me doing these five installations of How to Train for Ninja Warrior. Really, really enjoyed it. Hope you guys have learned some stuff from it. I mean, there's lots and lots of bits you can throw in a circus and part of your workouts all the way through for all the different aspects of ninja training. Definitely be doing more next season. I'll definitely be doing more ninja videos uh, to keep you guys informed. And as I learn, I'll pass the knowledge on. It's a big community, we like to share it. But again, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please, please subscribe so you can see any more of the things we get up to. And obviously like the video and share it if you can, that'd be awesome. I've been Ali Hay, the Bearded Ninja. Good to see you, we'll see you again.